First of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity to share how we work with the Moodle workplace in um, Norway. Uh, as you can see in the heading, we have customized one Moodle workplace um, with plugins to meet the needs of 58 companies. Um, in this presentation, I will try to give you a, a demo uh, on the uh, functionality a, a live, so um, I hope I'm not too brave. Uh, if so, I have some uh, screenshots uh, we can look at. Uh, but before I go to the, the, the demo, I will give you a little um, background information about the platform. So in uh, Norway, we have an uh, association called Work and Inclusion. And in this, this uh, association, we have a lot of companies working to get people back or into work. So um, in 2021, uh, these companies helped about uh, 13,000 people into work. That, was, that is of great importance for those people, both uh, personally and health-wise, and it has a great benefit for a society. Um, the value of having these 13,000 people in the workforce instead of unemployed is estimated at to about two and a half billion dollars. Um, in 2016, we set up a Moodle platform uh, with plugins to uh, help these companies to share and use uh, um, uh, learning resources. Uh, and the goal for this platform was to um, rise the quality uh, and to document, a, the, document the training. Um, Presently, the platform is used by 59, uh, actually, uh, uh, companies with about 10,000 users all over the country. And as you can see on the map to the right, uh, they are placed from south to north, from uh, east to west uh, in, in Norway. And, and the distance for, uh, from a company in the north to a company in the south is almost the same distance than from uh, Norway and down here to Barcelona. So it's, uh, we are not many citizens, but it's a, a, a huge distance between us. Uh, uh, a lot of mountains and, and uh, woods and stuff. Um, so with these distances, um, it's of great important for us to have a good LMS to help the company to cooperate and to, to share these resources. So, Instead of screenshots, I will now try to give you a live demo uh, on the, on the uh, basic functionality that is developed for the, for the platform. And it's uh, the Norwegian um, Moodle premium partner, E-Factor, who's in, in the room right now. They are developing the, the, the functionality. Uh, and I will focus on the things that is not core, that, that, uh, that's the plugins. Okay. So this is, uh, this is our Moodle workplace, and I have a test uh, demo tenant I will log into. Uh, and the first person I will log into is the job consultant. Uh, the job consultant is the person helping a job seeker back to work. So he is the manager in this system. Um, Okay, so, so the first plugin uh, that they have made is uh, the, the job consultants has to invite the job seeker into the platform. And it's, um, we don't want the job seeker to register their uh, own account, so we have to invite them. Uh, and therefore, this invitation module is, is made, and in the uh, left menu, it's an icon with a person and a plus. Uh, and when the uh, job consultant is clicking there, uh, he uh, has his own department, and the job seeker position is pre-default uh, 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 filled in. So the only thing that the, um, the um, job consultant has to do is to uh, add the, uh, the email address in this field, and, sorry, uh, and go down to, um, uh, the, the account and, and, uh, and preview and send the invitation to the job seeker. And in the invitation model, uh, you can have templates 
uh, so you don't have to write the invitation every time. Uh, and this invitation will uh, be sent to the, to the person on the email with just a link to click uh, to, to, um, to make this, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to create your user. Uh, and when you have create, uh, when you have clicked the link, um, you can put in your uh, name and an uh, address, and you will go into the, uh, the to the platform. And as you can see, on the next picture, this person will have a, uh, assigned the right job in the right position. So it's going up to the to the um, to the team fan. The, the team tab for the job consultant. Okay, so when the, the job uh, consultant have invited the, the job seeker to the platform, uh, the job seeker uh, has to find uh, uh, courses uh, to enroll into. And that is the second um, plugin that uh, we have made for the platform, is how the job seeker can search out for, for courses that are relevant for the person and enroll into the, uh, into the, um, to the course. So as you can see, uh, here's the picture of all the courses. When, my, when you um, search for, for uh, the, the course, and you can, uh, uh, and you can, um, and roll into the course. Uh, another functionality on this plugin is uh, um, um, when, when the um, job seeker um, are on the platform, the job consultants want to enroll into, uh, into a course. And that is, um, that is shown in this picture. Um, uh, but, um, um, you have this course admin that allows the uh, job consultant, that the manager, to enroll a, a single user into a single course. That is not core functionality in the workplace today, that the, the manager can enroll the persons into single courses. So here is a list of all the courses that is um, on the platform, is shared between the companies, and uh, the manager can assign uh, on, the, on the left. Uh, and in the, that list, the, only the, the, the job seekers or the, the uh, employees for this manager will occur, and they can, uh, can uh, pick the ones they, they want and, and roll them into the, to the platform. Okay. Um, The need to document all training, not just the e-learning, is constantly increasing uh, in our uh, companies. So in order to document that persons have taken part in a physical session, uh, webinar, or, or other cases where the managers need to register the, the participation, uh, we use the register attendance uh, activity. And you can see it here. We have put the uh, uh, register attendance and uh, this allows the, the manager to, uh, uh, to register the attendance for the participant in this course. And as you can see, uh, there, uh, there is one attendance in this course, and the manager can, uh, can um, mark uh, the person uh, in this list, and that will be, um, uh, that will be important to fulfill the course. Um, for, for this person. Okay, then I have to go a little bit backwards in my presentation because uh, uh, this was the screenshot I was hoping I don't have to, to, to show you because I wanted to, to show you uh, a live demo. Uh, but uh, the summary of the functionality uh, I would show you today is um, that uh, the first plugin let the manager uh, invite a user to the platform with only uh, needing the email address. So it's sending an invitation to the email address 
and by clicking this uh, link in the email, uh, the job seeker uh, would create the, the user and be placed with the right position in the platform. And uh, we use the dynamic rules where our, um, this, um, we have talked about earlier today, and, and then we can have um, um, enrollments to programs and courses based on the position. So when the first time the job seeker is uh, uh, logging into the platform, the, the programs and the courses are all there uh, from the start. So that is a good, really good uh, functionality for us. Um, The next thing is the improved course catalog. As I showed you, the, the uh, job seekers and the employees have to find courses that is relevant for them. Uh, and uh, in the course catalog, they can search for course. And we have filters on the, on the left menu to filter out uh, the right courses for them. Um, and one of the most uh, important uh, um, Functionality is that the manager or the job consultants can uh, enroll uh, single persons to single courses. That is really a big need for those companies. Uh, and the last thing is to, uh, to uh, register a physical education as well. So, two years ago, we started to use Moodle Workplace and going from a, a normal uh, Moodle with uh, a lot of plugins to a, a Moodle workplace was a huge step up for us. And the support is, uh, have gone uh, this way uh, after doing that, so, so it, it has given us a lot of benefits. And uh, all the functionality shown earlier today has been really good for us. Uh, but as you can see in this presentation, we have to uh, add some functionality with plugins to meet the needs of the company using Moodle Workplace. So, um, when, when we started working with Moodle Workplace, uh, Moodle in 2016, we had some issues about plugins and not having the functionality in the core. So, we really like to have so, uh, as much functionality as possible in the core solution so we don't need all the plugins to fulfill the, the needs of the companies. So, uh, of that reason, I will allow myself to, to pinpoint some uh, areas of improvements. So, uh, we really like Moodle Workplace as it is, but we think this, on these areas, uh, the, the platform could give uh, another benefits for, for uh, the companies using it. And that's from our perspective. I guess it's uh, much people ha here with other perspectives. And from our perspectives, uh, these areas will improve the Moodle, uh, the Moodle workplace solution. Uh, and as I've uh, told a lot about already, uh, the functionality to allow manager to enroll uh, employees in single courses, not only program, is a, uh, um, would be a great impor uh, improvement. Uh, allow employees to self-enroll into programs and certification that is uh, uh, also a, a big need for. And I showed you a course catalog today, a core course catalog showing both courses and programs and certifications uh, would be uh, very useful for us. Um, and the ability to give access to course categories to selected tenants. Today you can show all courses to all tenants or you can say this category to this tenant, but you can't uh, pick a category to the uh, to five tenants if you want, and that will be a, a, a really good for for our needs in, in Norway. Um, and uh, it was a very interesting uh, presentation earlier today about the competency competency framework. Uh, and in in that presentation, she she showed us that they need 136 uh, dynamic rules uh, only for that operation. And we have a lot of operations in the companies, so the list of the dynamic rules uh, is uh, long, and the programs is long. So a folder uh, functionality for, for mapping the, 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 the different uh, dynamic rules, programs, and certifications would be uh, very useful. I know we have the filters today, uh, but a folder functionality would, would be great. Uh, and uh, um, 
The last thing is uh, audience to programs. Uh, uh, there are many programs in, in a company to, to, uh, that is not uh, relevant for everybody. So this type of leaders uh, have this program for their, their employees and uh, those leaders or managers have other programs. And, and uh, when, when a manager can uh, look at all the programs, it's uh, a little whoa. <laughs> uh, so, so if we could add, add audience, so they just see uh, will, which programs who are relative for them, relevant for them, that would be uh, of great uh, improvement for, for the, the companies. So, um, a little bit uh, be, uh, before the, the schedule because of uh, 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 missing the live demonstration, but um, that's everything I was planned to, uh, to show you. So um, thanks.